What's up everybody, Julian here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make sewer slut style, lo-fi, jungle, techno, all that. To go along this video, you can get this full template at the top of the description on my website. Thanks for the support guys. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for the support and let's get started. Alright, we are at 180 BPM here and the first thing we have is this 808. So we're going between these two chords, D sharp and B, right? So we're in D sharp minor, and then we're going down to the sixth, which is that major chord, so it kind of resolves, and then just bouncing around. This is based on like that classic jungle thing, the eighth note groove with the 808 doing the bass line. And then just kind of pushing it. The other thing is the sound we're using. You can see this is literally like a spin 808, like a very modern sort of thing. Um, I'm cutting off the beginning. I wanted it to be a bit smoother because it can be louder. If you don't have this huge thing at the start there, you can turn this up a little bit louder, right? And then, yeah, we got the tuner there making sure it's good. Pretty simple. Then we got our drums. So what we got here is we got these two main breaks. One of which I chopped a lot. And then this one I just left. But then you see you get kind of a cool groove by leaving those. Cool. And then we have two amens. So we got this one. which sits on top of those and just gives it like the high end and kind of like some crunch. And then this guy as well. It just hits every four bars. You can see I chopped those a lot. On the whole group, there's a bit of processing too, so here's about it. With. So yeah, it's only at 9%, but you definitely hear that overdrive a lot. Then we got our first pad. So what this is playing is it's following the same progression I showed you with the 808, where it's that D sharp minor into the B major. Right, that's all this is. It's just the root and the third, and then I put the thirds up a few octaves. Yeah, you can see the same thing there. And then right here, what we're doing is then it just keeps going. So then we go to like that would be the fourth and then the fifth. And that's just the regular the chord that that would be, right? But we're playing like and then this you can see it's actually like these two dissonant notes. It creates this nice tension in the pad to have the dissonant notes there at the end. For the wavetable, we've got a little bit of the sub oscillator plus this beating and some basic shapes. We've got the amp envelope like that plus there's an LFO on the oscillator positions but actually ended up turning it down. We've got the unison on noise. It's like a pretty good amount of it. A ton of chorus. Warmth is up a lot, right? So you're getting a little bit of fatness from that. Some echo and reverb to kind of wash it, and then a high pass filter. Then we have this other wavetable. So, this is only playing one note. I was basically trying to recreate that like old school jungle string sound. Just like a high drone. Usually, you would use a string for that, but it's like trying to use a synth to recreate a string sound. So, the way I did this here is. We have a sub oscillator, but it's at the same octave as everything else. We have this Sarod wavetable and this AEIOU. And then there's a little envelope on the pitch, which gives it that you can hear it. So that kind of makes it, you know, more like a string. And then there's even a little LFO on that, just a tiny bit to move it around. And then I have a, a little bit of this LFO on oscillator one's pitch. So it's these little pitch movements to kind of create like the dissonance of the string, right? 
we got classic unison, but only two voices, so it's not too like you know Rowan Juno esque. We've got a bit of delay, reverb, and then just the high pass. So then there's this melody, which you can see kind of fits together with everything. So for the notes on this one, you can see it's all just in that D sharp minor scale still. We're just using fourth, fifth, sixth, and the root note. It's just those voices and creating a melody out of that. And that's a good tip for like this more ambient stuff, you know? A lot of times the problem with people's ambient sort of melodies is they try to put too many notes. I think if you want it to be really dreamy and ethereal, you have to make it really simple so that it's catchy. For the sound, we got wavetable, we got sub oscillator giving us like a little sine wave, this amber wavetable, and then a little bit of this triangle here. You can see I've got a few different modulations. So like on the oscillator one fold and then on oscillator two's position, we got this slow envelope. I have an LFO on the first oscillator too, which resets. You can see we've got some unison, reverb, and then just a high pass filter. It's really mostly happening inside the synth with this one. I also want to talk about master processing. You can see on here I've got just a few different things. It's a little sub cut at 33 hertz, and then we're converting the bass to mono. And then it's really just, I want you to see how much this limiter is pushing. I mean, it's up a lot. And even before it, it's still pretty loud and fat, but then you push this. And it's okay to get a bit crunchy with it because obviously that's sort of the sound. So you can kind of push it past what you normally would and it creates some really interesting stuff. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can grab this full template at the top of the description on my website. Make sure to grab that. Thanks for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.